Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. In this video, everybody, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add yourself to the Sudoers file in Debian. Well, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So basically, guys, the first step that you want to commit, I guess I could say, is uh, go ahead and open up your console, aka your terminal. Um, now, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to zoom into my terminal just a little bit, as you could see right there. So as you can see right here, we've just got, um, you know, the terminal opened. It looks very, very nice in my nice-looking dark theme that I have chosen. Um, so basically, uh, the next step that you want to go ahead and, as I said, the commit, uh, you want to go ahead and do, um, you want to go ahead and type su and then type in the root password. So I have my root password, and as you can now see, I am currently in root. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, if you can, there you go. Or if you couldn't, there you go. There, it's a little bit, I say a little bit more zoomed in, it, a lot more zoomed in. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so the, uh, ne the uh, next step that you want to go ahead and do is type, uh, yeah, once you are in root, you want to go ahead and type this sudo, like that. And basically, this will take you into a nano... Um, into the nano text editor into a document. Um, I believe it's just called Visudo the document, um, or it might be called, um, oh, it's called uh, Sudoers, but um, basically to type to enter a uh, uh, the sudoers file. Um, that's what that's all you have to do. You just have to type Visudo when you are in the uh, root. Uh, when you have root access, of course. All right. So after you have done that, once you want to do, you want to go ahead and just scroll down to um, this over here where you see user privileges and specifications, root all equals, um, in parentheses all, um, colon all, and then space all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just move my, um, my little cursor, as you can see right here, it is where, um, here, I'll just show you. Uh, there it is. If you guys cannot see that, um, here it is. All right, so um, what you want to do at this point, you just want to go ahead and go between root and between this um, next um, line, which, uh, as, which, as you guys can see, it says allow members of group um, sudo to execute any command. So go ahead and just click enter, and that will just give you a little space. Now what you want to do, you just want to go ahead and type in your username. Now, uh, it, it, it might be, it could vary from your actual name instead of your username. Um, mine, my real name is actually uh, Ryan. However, my username is set to TechBizmo, so I will go ahead and type TechBizmo. But you are not done yet, just letting you guys know, you are not done yet. Um, next, what you want to do, you want to basically just copy this right here. Just copy this and put it right down there. Um, I'm going to type it for the purpose of this video. Um, so it's all equals, um, in parentheses, all, colon, all, uh, close parentheses, not, not P, <laughs> and then all. And there you go, guys. That is all you want to type. Um, you know, if your name isn't TechBizmo, <laughs> um, <laughs> if your name is not TechBizmo, then you will type uh, your username, of course. All right, so after you've done that, you just want to do Control X, and then, um, as you can see, it says Save Modified Buffer, answering, answering No will discard changes. You want to go ahead and click Y if you want to save the, um, the changes, and then go ahead and click Enter. And as you can see, we are now added to the sudoers file. I'll actually show you guys some proof. So, you, as you can see, I am out of root. Um, so, um, yeah, see if I go to that, uh, you know, that, that'll make me type in my password, but we're not going to do that, so, uh, let's just, uh, press enter, and, yep, you can see authentication failure. Um, so now I can type sudo, um, apt install Kaden live. I always use Kaden live as an, as an example, and as you can see, I now have permission. Anyway, guys, I hope you all found this video helpful and useful, and I'll catch you in the next one.